Well, there's been a lot of work done since the last video. You can see now that um, I've cut away all the panels that had rust in, and uh, so now the uh, driver's side footwell uh, has just got the uh, inner side panel and the top of it and a little bit of the front panel. But I'm in a position now where I'm now ready to start putting it all back together. Um, I've manufactured a front panel here. Um, it wasn't too difficult to do. Uh, and then I've got a, a new tow board and I've got the new uh, side panel. Um, again, I bought both of those, bought them from Ashley Hinton Panels um, and uh, we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by fitting the front of the footwell. Okay, so I've uh, seam welded the uh, bottom part of the front panel in place and uh, at the moment I'm doing a trial fit of the floor and the tow board. Uh, I've decided that it's going to be easy to put the tow board in before I do anything else just purely and simply for access purposes. You can see that uh, everything looks reasonably well in there it's all gone together quite well and uh, the floor's in place. So what I'm going to do now is take it all apart. I shall uh, uh, prime all the bits and pieces, particularly behind the tow board where I won't be able to get to uh, once it's fitted. Uh, and then I'm going to spot weld the bottom part of the, or, or the top part, should I say, of the, of the tow board to the uh, front panel. And when I've done that, fit the floor. And when I've fitted the floor, I will then fit the side panel. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, I should be thinking about what I'm going to do to the A post because there is quite a bit of corrosion down on the inside of the A post down here, uh, which means that I'm going to have to take the whole of the outer panel off. Um, and I don't really know what's going to happen to this part of the A-post. I'll probably have to manufacture something to uh, to take all the corrosion out of that. Anyway, when I've got the floor welded in, uh, I'll have a better idea of what I'm going to do and I'll make another video. As with everything, uh, things evolve and uh, in order to get a few more reference points, uh, before I start welding up, I decided to take out what uh, remained of the uh, inner and outer sill. So you can see here that uh, uh, they've all gone now and uh, I've uh, fitted the, um, the new inner sill and I'll put that back in now uh, as a trial fit. So there it is and uh, the fit is very good, um, which is reassuring. So what I intend to do now is to cut out the centerpiece between the uh, rear floor and the front floor, make a panel and, uh, and then I'm going to weld it all up. So I've made the new bit for the uh, center floor. Uh, I've drilled all the holes in the panels ready for the plug welds and uh, this is one last fit together. I've primed all the panels that uh, inside that I won't be able to uh, get to to prime properly afterwards. So now I can start the welding. Well that's the driver's floor and uh, footwell all finished now. It's all welded up and uh, I've also welded the in a sill in place and uh, fastened that to the uh, side of the footwell. Uh, before I did that I did quite a lot of messing about with the door in position to try and, uh, and get the, the door gap better and hopefully uh, I think that's uh, in good shape now. What I will do next is fit the outer sill and uh, at the same time as I'm doing that, keep an eye on the door gap. 
as you can see I've also fitted the outer sill now and uh, I'm reasonably pleased with the door gap on the B post and uh, hopefully when I reinstate the lower hinge uh, and the A post I'll be able to get the gap right there.